Hi there, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and this month I am the guest designer on the Crazy for Challenges blog, which is a really fun a weekly card making challenge blog, and this week's challenge is to make a card with a tag. So I decided to use the Winter Bears stamp set from Elizabeth Craft Signs and stamp the like sort of biggish, the largest bear in that stamp set onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and then I am coloring him with my Zig Clean Color Real Rush markers and a little bit of water. So that was my 91 light gray that I'm using to add just a tiny bit of shading to my polar bear, just around the hat, under the scarf, under his nose, and just on the edges of his ears, kind of anywhere where it seems like there might be some shadows. And then for his hat, I'm actually gonna combine some colors. So this is 30 blue, and I'm gonna combine that with 45 pale green because I was trying to match the colors in the striped paper that you may have seen in the picture. Um, and I didn't quite have the right color of zigs just all on their own to match. So I'm kind of trying to combine some shades to come up with a good color. So there you can see I went over it with pale green and now I'm using my water brush to kind of blend it with some water. So it is pretty wet. So then when I start coloring a little bit more with the blue, the blue is a little bit lighter than it was and same with the green and it blends nicely together and gets a, a smoothish blend um, that is a good sort of blue green color to match that paper. And now my favorite tool is my white glaze pen to clean up my coloring. So I used that a little bit along the edge of the hat where I had a little bit of bleeding. And then this is some light pink for his pink cheeks and a little bit of water. And I should have waited to do my black for those pink cheeks to dry because I had a little bit of bleeding right up in the upper left between the black and the pink as I start to smooth this out with my water brush. Sorry, I'm getting a little off camera. Um, so I waited for that to dry and instead moved on to the scarf. So on the scarf, I'm blending two colors also. I've got 36 light blue and then I'm going over that with the 91 light gray because I'm trying to create a blue, like a light gray blue color. And so I'm going to color over this all again with the 36 light blue. And you can see I'm getting like a sort of a toned down version of that light blue. It's like a grayed down version. And that's what I was going for. And then I'm using the gray again to add just a little bit of shading to, um, you know, areas of the scarf that would be darker. And then for my dots, I'm using that pale green again. But this time I wanted like a more of a green blue than the hat, which is more of a blue green. So I'm going to try the pale or the light blue, but that's going to be too, too light. So then I'm going to take the tiniest bit of that blue color on the dots and the pom pom and then blend that out with the pale green to get more of a green blue than a blue green that the hat is. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. But there you can see like how the ratio of the different colors that you use can change um, the overall tone of the, the blended color that you create. Since I use the same colors on the hat and the scarf dots and the pom pom. And now that the, his nose, I finished off with the black and then color, and then blended it out with the, the light gray again. And here I'm just touching up again with my zig, or not my zig, um, my white glaze pen my favorite little kind of eraser tool. And here's the matching die that I'm going to use to die cut this out. You won't see me die cut it out, but I do so. <laughs> and now I'm gonna stamp my greeting, which is from the Elizabeth Craft Designs Christmas Collection stamp set. This is says, baby, it's cold outside, and I'm stamping it in Versamark ink onto some Gina K Designs in the Navy cardstock, and then I'm covering it in white embossing powder, and then I'm gonna heat set it with my gun. And I knew I was gonna trim it all out, so that's why it's on that kind of scratch piece of paper. And so there I have trimmed it out, fussy cut it out, and now I have a piece of that same cardstock cut to five and a half by four and a quarter, and then this is my stripe paper I was kind of trying to match with my coloring. And this comes from the cover sheet of the Moda Scrap Thinking About Polynesia 12 by 12 paper pack, and I have trimmed it out using the second largest die in the Elizabeth Craft Design Stitched Rectangles die set. And then I have my, for my tag, I cut the third smallest stitched fishtail die out of some 85 pound white soft finish cardstock. And then I have two snowflakes also out of the same cardstock from the ornate snowflakes die set. And they have some really fun 3D elements to them where you kind of lift them up. And for my last little touch, I stamped that stamp, the little snowflake stamp from the Winter Bear stamp set in some Lawn Fawn Deep Sea ink and die cut that out with the matching die. 
So my card base is a top folding A2 sized white, 100 pound white soft finish cardstock card base. And now I'm just using some six millimeter double sided adhesive tape to adhere down the navy panel to cover the front. And I will have to trim it down just a little bit. I can never get it lined up just perfect. Can anyone? I don't know. <laughs> but, and then I'm gonna adhere my um, striped panel, the stitched rectangle on top of that to give it a little bit of a navy frame all the way around it. And then I'm going to add fun foam to the back of my tag for a little bit of dimension. So this is a piece of white fun foam and I'm going to just trim it down with my scissors by holding the piece on top of it and then just trimming it so that it's slightly smaller than that tag shape. You could also die cut that and a matching one out and then you'll have to trim it down a little just because the fun foam gets flattened when you die cut it and it will get bigger than the actual die. But I just thought eyeballing it was the quick way to go. And then I've adhered the fun foam onto the tag with the six millimeter adhesive tape as well. And on the back of my bear, I have some six millimeter and three millimeter double-sided adhesive tape. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit of zig to a glue pen just on the areas where I couldn't fit tape to make sure all of it gets adhered down nicely on the front of my tag. And then I'll use my zig to a glue pen on my snowflake here as well. And it's gonna like kind of jump around a little bit. <laughs> but then get it here down, down into the top. And then I realized, oh, I didn't punch a, a hole in my tag and I should have done that. And I already put the fun foam on it. So I grabbed my um, crocodile and I just drew a little dot where I wanted it. And then I punched the hole through the tag and the fun foam with that because it'll punch through just about anything. And now I have some dark aqua embroidery floss that I'm adding to the top of the tag, kind of color coordinating with the rest of the card. And I'm just gonna adhere down my snowflakes using my Zig 2A glue pen. I'm avoiding the 3D elements on that with the adhesive, but adding little dots of adhesive to the rest of it. And then I'm gonna eyeball the second one, doing the exact same thing, um, using my tag and like the greeting for kind of placement of where these guys are gonna go. And adhere that down and use my acrylic block to hold that in place while it dries. And then I'm gonna add uh, more six millimeter tape to the back of the fun foam on the tag and get this guy adhered into the correct position. I love that tape for holding down fun foam. Fun foam is a little bit tricky to get to stick and that tape works like a charm. And then this is three millimeter uh, double-sided adhesive tape I have on the back of my greeting that will allow me to adhere this down into the lower right-hand side. And there's a little bit of overlap but first, let me add some sparkle. I have to have sparkle. I don't think I can make a card without, well, I have occasionally made one without sparkle, but that's tough for me. So I've got to add some sparkly sequins. I've got some clear iridescent ones and a blue one and then like sort of a peacocky green that I'm adding to the front with some Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive. And now I'm going to just trim off anything that's hanging over the sides of the card, which is just a little bit of the snowflakes and a little bit of the grating and trim off my tag uh, thread and kind of pull it apart to give it a little more dimension. And then of course, gotta add more sparkle. So here's my Spectrum Noir clear sparkle marker that I'm using to sparkle up my bear on the front of the card. Cause you know, it's a wintery card. It needs some winter like snowy sparkle, right? I've gotta have that. And then finally I'm adding one last sequin to the middle of my small snowflake on the tag. Um, again, using some Ranger Multimedia Matte. And that is the completed project. And I gotta clean up a little bit of adhesive on that sequin there. But otherwise, there it is. And I, it's got a fair amount of sparkle and I was really happy with how it came out. So hopefully I've inspired you a little bit to make a fun, wintry, snowflake and bear tag card for the Crazy for Challenges blog challenge for this week. Um, Thank you so much for watching. As always, supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. Here is another video that I uh, used that Winter Bears stamp set for and a, another um, one using the Ornate Snowflakes. So hopefully you will check those out as well. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I would really appreciate that. Thanks so much and have a great day.